What's going on everyone? Thanks for tuning in. For today's video, I'm going to be discussing the 2019 Chevy Camaro. Is it really that ugly of a car? Let's talk about it. <laughs> All right, you guys, so let's talk about this new Camaro. A lot of people are saying it's one of the ugliest Camaros of all time. Even diehard Chevy fans think it looks atrocious. Oh! I'm gonna tell you what I think of the car at the end of this video, but first let me show you the new images of the car and we'll discuss what's new for 2019. So on the morning of April 9th, the people at CBS revealed the all new Camaro. Here it is, here's the 2019 Chevy Camaro. They showed off the new car before its public debut, and they also talked about the challenges of keeping the new Camaro design hidden from the public. But now the covers are off, so let's see what the new Camaro has to offer. The first and most noticeable difference is the front fascia. It is completely new for 2019. Every Camaro in the lineup, except for the ZL1, will receive these new headlights. The headlights look more narrow in design, and they feature an LED strip that goes into the grille. Another thing you might have noticed is the Flow Tie emblem. For 2019, all SS models will feature this new emblem. The Flow Tie emblem allows the air to travel through it, improving the car's aerodynamics. And speaking of aerodynamics, these new air currents are supposed to help as well. It's obvious that Chevy was striving to make this car more aerodynamic, but in doing so, they had to radically change the front end. It actually looks very similar to the Camaro in Transformers. And if you're wondering why the ZL1's front end isn't getting refreshed, it's because Chevy said they already have it optimized for airflow. Now let's talk about the rear end. For 2019, the taillights have been completely redesigned. They have more of a rounded shape like the 5th gen Camaro. And in my opinion, these look a lot better than the previous design. The rear bumper has also been redesigned, and depending on whether you get an RS or an SS model, you'll also get a unique diffuser when you get the dual mode exhaust. As far as the interior goes, it really doesn't look that much different. But Chevy did say that a 7-inch touchscreen is standard, and an 8-inch touchscreen is available if you upgrade to onboard navigation. The new Camaro certainly has a bold new look. But the question is, will the design grow on people as time goes on? Now here's the thing you have to keep in mind. When Ford revealed the 2018 Mustang back in January of 2017, there were a lot of people that instantly hated on it. They thought that the new design looked terrible compared to the 2015 design. But the funny thing about that is that when Ford first revealed the sixth generation Mustang in 2015, a lot of people hated on that design as well. But once people saw the car in real life, the design grew on them and it looked a lot better. I think the same thing is gonna happen when people see this Camaro in real life. Let me try to demonstrate what I mean. Take a good look at this new image. Some people like the design already, but for other people, it's gonna take a little bit of time. For some reason, these promo shots make the car look different than it looks in real life. I personally think this promo shot doesn't make the car look too good, but when I see this image from CBS, I think it looks pretty good. The point I'm trying to make is, don't rule out whether you like the car or not based off of the promo shots. It's possible that when you see the car in person, your opinion will completely change. You have to understand that these cars are designed with the future in mind. The engineers design these cars in anticipation of what customers will be looking for in the future. So although some people don't like them right now, in the future more and more people will like the design and will be attracted to it. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've tried my best to really appreciate the new design of the Camaro, but it's just not growing on me yet. I'm sure that when I see it in real life, I'm going to say, that is a sharp looking car, but for right now, I'm still on the fence. I feel like Chevy could have done a better job revealing this new car. They should have had a teaser trailer like they did for the ZR1. That was exciting to see. And in instead they just revealed it on CBS and it's like, that's only gonna be seen by so many people. If they would have put a teaser trailer on YouTube or Instagram, that would have really hyped things up. And then the next day they could have revealed the full design. But that's just my opinion. As far as the horsepower rating goes, I think it's pretty certain that they're going to beat the Mustang. I've heard rumors that this new Camaro could reach up to 500 horsepower, and that would be pretty impressive, honestly. It was only 10 years ago that the Shelby GT500 made 500 horsepower, and if we have a Camaro coming out in 2019 that's going to make 500 horsepower, that just shows you how much these engines have advanced over the last decade. The Mustang I'm driving right now is a 2018 and it makes 460 horsepower, which isn't too far off from 500, 
but I can only imagine how much of a difference that extra 40 horsepower would make. Now, although I do have a 2018 Mustang, it doesn't mean I don't like Chevy. I actually really like the looks of the Camaros, but I will say this new design really has me torn. I feel like I'm gonna have to see the car in real life before I give my final judgment. All right, you guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. What do you guys think of the new Camaro? Do you think it looks really good or do you think that Chevy messed up? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching this video. Thank <laughs> you.